Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be talking about focal length. Now, before I start the video, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. In this video, I'll be talking about focal length and how does it matter in photography and videography. It will be a short but detailed video. I'm sure you will enjoy it. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. First, let's understand what is exactly focal length. So, focal length is basically the distance from the optical center to the sensor of your camera. Focal length is not dependent on the length of your lens, meaning you can have two different lenses of different length but of the same focal length. And depending on the focal length, the lens is named after it. If you're using a 50mm lens, it means the focal length is 50mm. Now, the focal length of the lens is irrespective of the camera body you're using. Doesn't matter what camera you're using, the focal length of the lens remains the same. But the effective focal length changes depending on the camera body you're using. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, there is a crop factor involved depending on the type of camera you're using. If you're using a full frame 50mm lens on a full frame camera, there is no crop factor. Basically, the crop factor is 1. So, 50mm will be 50mm multiplied by 1, that is 50mm. But if you're using a crop sensor camera, there's a crop factor of 1.5 or 1.6 applied depending on the brand you use. Nikon uses a 1.5, Canon uses 1.6, it varies according to the brands. But the effective focal length changes, but the actual focal length of the lens still remains the same. Now that you have understood the technical side of focal length, let's see the practical side of it. So smaller the number of the focal length, wider is the lens and you have a broad perspective. Like this is a 15mm lens. As you can see, you get a very wide perspective. As you start zooming in, as you start increasing the focal length, the perspective becomes much more narrower. So obviously a 200mm will have a narrow perspective compared to a wide angle like a 15mm. So there is no rocket science that focal length changes the perspective, but it actually affects the image in a very different way. Meaning, focal length changes the compression you have in the image. What is compression now? So if there are two subjects at a distance, compression is how close or how far the subject looks. And as you zoom in, as you increase the focal length, the compression increases. Two subjects, if they are at a distance, they look closer if you zoom in. Similarly, if you're using a wider focal length, the distance between two subjects actually increase. And this is how focal length changes the compression. And depending on the compression you want in the image, you have to decide the focal length. Meaning, if I want my foreground and background to be more separated, if I want to increase the distance between them, I will use a wider focal length. If I want to compress the distance between two subjects, I will use a tighter focal length. Now, if you're a beginner, understanding compression, understanding perspective will be difficult for you. But as you grow as a photographer, as you practice, you will get the knack of it. You will understand for what kind of perspective, for what kind of compression, which lens should you use. Now, I hope you have understood how focal length affects perspective and compression. But it also affects one more thing, that is the depth of field. Now, depth of field is actually related to compression. If you zoom in more, you will get more depth of field. As you can see, the settings are the same, but I have taken the same image at 70mm and now at 200mm. And as you can see, because of the compression, you get more depth of field, you get more blur at higher focal length. So focal length affects three things, perspective, compression and depth of field. Now there's a common misunderstanding that photographers have. If you move close to the subject, you take an image, or you don't move close, you just zoom in and then you take the image, the images won't be same. Physically moving closer and zooming in are two different things and it will result in different kind of images. So always have in mind, focal length is just not cropping in. There's a lot of things that goes behind zooming in and actually moving closer to the subject. Depending on the kind of final result you're aiming for, you have to decide what focal length you have to shoot at. Now I get a lot of questions, sort of what lens should I use for landscape, for wildlife, for portrait, and there is no definite answer for that, but I will give you certain tips that will help you for your next shoot. So I am a landscape photographer, and that's why I have a wide angle lens compulsory 
whole city every time I'm traveling. In landscape photography, I'm trying to capture a wider perspective, but that's not always the case. I also use my telephoto lens to capture landscapes when I want that compression. If you're into wildlife or sport photography where you need that extra reach, anything about 200 or more than 200 mm, something like 400 or 500 mm works great. If you're into street photography, something like a 24 to 70 mm, that focal length is great for street photography. Now, if you're into portraits, there are a lot of different options. You have a 35, you have a 50, you have a 85, you have a 135 as well. Now, depending on the kind of results you're going for, as I said before, you have to choose the lens. You might love the look of 50mm more than 85mm. You have to experiment and see what suits your style. There's no such definite answer. Experimenting and practicing will give you a better idea about focal length. But I hope this video gave you a clear idea of what focal length is and how to use it when you're shooting photos or videos. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. And if you did, press the like button. If you're new to the channel, press the subscribe button. And before I end the video, I'm hosting a meetup in Calcutta on 19th of January 2020. The details will be there in the registration link which is down below. Click on the link if you're from Calcutta. Would love to meet you guys. And that's it from this video. Bye-bye.